1999, Yamaha released a personal watercraft that was truly built for adventure and fun for the whole family. The Yamaha SUV was designed to be versatile and comfortable and handle any type of water activity with a crowd. This is such a unique machine, I was super excited to have a chance to work on this machine, but then also to get to try it out after the work was completed. They're quite rare and sought after machines for a number of reasons. Let's talk about just a few so that you can decide if the Yamaha SUV is the right personal watercraft for you. First off, we really need to talk about the size of the Yamaha SUV. This personal watercraft measures 12 and a half feet in length and five feet in width. That's nearly two feet longer and a whole foot wider than its cousin, the XL1200, that was made similar years. It also has a dry weight of around 815 pounds, which is nearly 200 pounds heavier than that XL1200 I mentioned. But that extra size and weight comes with some really impressive tricks up its sleeve. This machine can seat up to four people comfortably, making it an ideal choice for a family or a group of friends that wants to go out and enjoy the water together. But what's most impressive to me is with a machine this large, it still feels like and handles very responsively, like a much smaller machine. You can really carve into the corners hard, and with that extra length and weight, the SUV handles the corners incredibly well. While I don't have another machine on the water in this video to compare it to, I can confidently tell you the SUV handles alarmingly similar to an XL1200, Sea-Doo GTX, or nearly any other three-seater machine that was made in the same time frame that these were. Performance-wise, the SUV is no slouch either. This machine is powered by a 1200cc, three-cylinder, carbureted, non-power valve two-stroke engine that produces 135 horsepower. Wow, all those stats are really a mouthful. But this engine brings the machine to a top speed of around 55 miles per hour. Now, of course, that's going to depend on your load, the water conditions. You may see higher, you may see lower. But still, that's pretty quick for a machine this size. Really, that's pretty quick for any personal watercraft. That's moving along good. Um, another interesting performance tidbit about this machine is that it uses the same 155 millimeter jet pump housing that's used on the XL and XLT models. So if you have an SUV that has cavitation issue, the video that I have on my channel about doing the pump shoe seals also applies to the SUV models so that you can solve your cavitation and get back that acceleration that you need. Now this particular machine that I'm riding accelerates incredibly well. Despite that extra size and weight that it has against it, this thing takes off like a rocket. It's very comparable to many of the other three-seater models of the era. Now with some of the features that we've discussed, I think you should be getting a pretty good picture of how versatile this machine really is. But the features don't stop there. The machine has reverse as well as the capability to program a passcode for an anti-theft security system. It also has a fuel tank that holds 18 and a half gallons of gas. Now that is plenty of range for a full day of water activities, whether you're taking your family, your friends, or you're going fishing by yourself. Now, with fishing in mind, let's talk about perhaps the most impressive feature of the Yamaha SUV. That is the sheer volume of storage that this thing has. There is a total of 117 gallons of storage. That is absolutely unreal. It is multitudes more than any other machine on the market. And as you look through all these storage compartments, the ones in the back are deep enough. You can put fishing rods, tackle, snacks, tools, you'd still have room left over. This makes the Yamaha SUV incredibly versatile. 
because you could take your friends, your family for a picnic on the lake. You could go fishing, swimming, have dry clothes with you, your lunch, all of your other gear stored safe and dry in the rear compartments or in the front compartments. Now that we've talked about all the incredible things about the SUV, things that may make you want to go find one, I should mention at least a couple of the drawbacks, things you should be aware of before purchasing a machine like this. Because these are carbureted engines, if they're let to sit for an extended time, those carbs can gum up, which, to be fair, is typical for most any personal watercraft made up to the mid-2000s when things started switching over to fuel injection. These also are oil injected from the factory, which is not a problem in itself, except for the oil injection lines on these machines were held on by zip ties at the factory. Over the years, the hoses harden, the zip ties may soften a little bit, and they will slide off of the fittings on the engine. And at that point, you lose your oil injection and can have catastrophic engine damage. So this could be remedied either by replacing those oil lines, installing pinch clamps instead of the zip ties, or just blocking off the oil system and pre-mixing oil with your fuel. Should you need instructions on cleaning those carburetors, rebuilding them, or fixing the oil lines, there's videos on my channel that cover both of these problems. With all of that said, the pros, the cons, the good, the bad, these are a very impressive machine. Reliable and versatile, provided that you take care of those couple little issues. Now, I'd say it's safe to say there is nothing on the market today that remotely compares to the versatility and the impressive capabilities of the Yamaha SUV. I hope that seeing me ride this around and talk about it a little bit has helped you determine if this is the machine that you should get for you and your family. Thanks for watching.